Hey, doing you, Hoop Station. Kurt Forsett coming to you from Florham Park Lifetime Athletic. Spring season, week five, uh, kind of the last, the last leg where everybody kind of goes through the team, see what's going on. First game was OMG versus Quiet Storm. Um, OMG looking to kind of capitalize on the momentum they've had the past couple of games. Um, they've kind of been in some deep holes, but they've always pulled the game close. So tonight, I think they were really looking to come out and uh, jump on Quiet Storm from the beginning. And it really was a close game the entire time. Uh, I think the biggest lead may have been four or five points. Um, OMG really executed their game plan well, which was, you know, kind of get the ball in the paint, get those close range jump shots. Um, they really were able to kind of get what they wanted um, off some switches. They had mismatches, um, obviously bigger than Quiet Storm across the board for the most part. But on the other end, you know, Quiet Storm, they were able to knock down those open shots that they had. Um, they hit fairly well from the three-point range. I don't know what the percentage was offhand, but um, they definitely capitalized on OMG, uh, kind of getting lost in the shuffle a little bit. Um, and, you know, it's just a physical game. The refs kind of called it both ways, a tight game. Um, you really can't complain about that. So it was good to see, you know, things really come down to the wire. Last second shot, one point win for Quiet Storm. Um, you really can't complain about that. Uh, second game was Hugs and Kisses versus Monstars, and just too much Monstars. I mean, from the beginning, they kind of just got out on Hugs and Kisses. Um, I think Jordan had 10 or 11 three-pointers. Not sure what the record is, but, you know, he was definitely shooting well from behind the arc tonight. Uh, for Hugs and Kisses, though, on the other hand, Kobe, I think, had 20 or 22 points, um, probably a career high in the league. Um, he was really able to get into the middle, strong finishes, couple of foul shots here and there. Um, he really was kind of like the highlight for Hugs and Kisses tonight. Um, another person, Onaje and Gail, they were kind of working on the inside along with Kellen to get some tough baskets, some outside three-pointers, but in the end, too much Monstars. And the last game was Vivid Solar versus Rock Nation. Um, just a very different type of game than what I imagined. Uh, I really thought that Rock Nation was going to kind of exploit the size that Viv and Solar had. I thought they were going to kind of run on them a little bit more than they did, kind of slowed it down. They really weren't moving the ball as much as like they normally they normally do. I think uh, the zone that Viv and Solar played kind of slowed them down a little bit. But I mean, there was a couple of stretches when they went on a run, and it looks like they were really going to close the gap and pull ahead um, for the most part. Rock Nation seems to always have close games, but they just never can close at the end. And Vivid Solar, they just found a way. I mean, they were working inside, getting some tough layups, um, some fouls at the end, making some foul shots to kind of keep a little bit of distance. But I mean, coming down the last wire, Phil, Phil Burnett hits a three-pointer. They're down by three. One second left. It's a tough look. Um, who was it? I think Nick shot the last shot. Not really a good look, but with his second left, not much you can do about it. So, um, tonight, Quiet Storm, Monstars, and Vivid Solar all get wins. Um, week 6, right around the corner.